Types here much closer together than you would normally would find in nature. And the first coming up on your right, these are this is the fir oak savanna prairie. Now these are fir oak trees here. Fir oak trees were the only tree that could survive in the prairie area. That bark you see is a fire resistant substance. They get singed by the fire, but they revive very quickly. On your left is the Mesic or tall grass prairie. Folks, at one point, 60% of the state of Illinois looked exactly like what you see to the left. And now we're down to less than one tenth of all, uh, one percent, I should say, of all that land still in prairie form. On your right, across the waters, there it is the bridge that leads to Marsh Island. That's our wetland prairie. I see a lot of sunflowers coming up in the uh, tall grass prairie. There's a legend about some of them. Those are compass sunflowers. And the legend is that if you got lost in the prairie, now imagine yourself 300 years ago walking through the prairie. There are no street signs or you, and if you got lost, what you did is you found yourself a compass sunflower. The basal leaves, those are the leaves at the very base of the sunflower, generally pointed north and south. And if you found a compass sunflower, you found your directions as well. Now the uh, plant, the flowers coming up on either side of the cab right now with their yellow petals pointing down, these are gray-headed cone flowers. Now on your right is our gravel on hill prairie. Gravel on hill prairies were formed by glaciers eons ago, and ours was, uh, when we constructed ours, ours was built in the same basic way with one exception. So there is a layer of dirt, topsoil, followed by a layer of gravel. But in our case, we installed two reservoirs at the base of these hills, so when it rains, that rainwater drains through those two layers into the reservoirs and then it seeps out on, into what's called a fen, F-E-N, or bog prairie. And more gray-headed cone flowers to my left. Now the waters to the left, that's the Skokie River. Now, yes, folks, there is a Skokie River. Well, we took the property over at night to kind of meander through the center of the property. It must have been kind of a marshland. So we relocated that river to the west side. It's one of our natural areas. It's home to over 200 different kinds of plants, toads, turtles, crayfish, skunk, muskrat, deer. I'm told mink, but I've never seen a mink down there. I mentioned five prairies, the Burroughs, Savannah, the Mesic